This is how India moves on the road. Streets packed with vehicles like the auto rickshaw. Motorcycles are everywhere, often loaded with families. And yes, some still put the ox cart before the horsepower. But this is how more and more Indians want to move, in new, compact, fuel-efficient cars. Here, India's largest seller of cars, Maruti Suzuki, is cranking out its most popular compact car, the Alto. As India's economy exploded, so have passenger car sales, more than doubling the last five years. And the boom is expected to continue. Car companies from all over the world want to be along for the ride. We've just invested $500 million there on a new pro We've announced a new small car program and also significant capacity expansion of our vehicle operations facility um, to the tune of 200,000 units. But with all these new cars comes a problem, pollution. India's air quality, already poor, is getting worse. But car buyers seem to be asking the question, if the West can have more cars, why can't we? On this typical busy Sunday, customers check out the sleek new models, the best sellers, fuel efficient compact cars. Basic thing is mileage. A small car gives a better mileage. It requires a less parking space. When I was a kid, I, I never saw a car in my family before. But now we, in my family, there are, it's a big family again. So we, we all have a car, you know, one car each, uh, in each family. So it's like that. The, the, the thinking has changed, the outlook has changed. That change is all across India, reaching even rural areas and alarming some environmentalists who want better options to cars. You're going to stop people from buying cars. But the question is that if you, we are able to build that awareness and give people the other more sustainable alternatives of transportation and actively discourage them from using the car, then it will be possible to make a dent. But car makers are planning to build what a growing number of Indians seem to want. You think about what you see on Indian roads in terms of motorbikes and a family on motorbikes and so on. I don't think anyone's entitled to say to those people they're not entitled to uh, travel uh, by, by safe modes of uh, transport. And we've, we're planning to make sure they get that. So when it comes to facing the cost of increased pollution in India, no one is yet in the driver's seat. Liz Nislas, CNN, Chennai, India.